So you guys asked for it, and here it is, a thorough flip through of the affordable Christian Life Education Level 2 and Level 3. Welcome to Plan, Prep, Pray. Hey girly, my name is Wendy and I am a homeschooling stay-at-home mom of four little ones. And on this channel, I talk about all things homeschooling, homemaking, mommy self-care, and kids empowerment. So subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Okay, so my friend Megan from Pennies and Salt has a flip through of the CLE math level one. So I'm just gonna do level two and three for you guys and I'll link her video down where she flips through level one. So level two and three comes with two um, teachers uh, guides. And so this is gonna be for, so it comes with two teachers guides and 10 light units. So it's gonna be the teacher's guide are for light units 201 to 205 and light units 206 to 210. Now in the teacher's guide, it, it really does a great job at scripting out everything that you need to do. The lesson preparation, the oral activities, teaching the lesson, helpful hints. It really just does a great job at teaching every lesson per lesson. I am going to be honest with you, I don't go through all this. It very much seems as if it is a classroom type setup, like for if you were teaching a class. Um, and so I, I don't really use the guide that often to the T. Like I use it like an overview to see what he's going to be less, what he's going to be doing. And I always go over the new skill that's going to be taught but I don't necessarily go over every single last thing. Sorry if you hear my baby in the background. Um, it's real life, there's real kids here. Okay, so we're, he is done with um, 201 already. And so I'll show you where it starts. All right, so the baby got a little distracted. So I'm gonna go ahead and voice over this part. So. Light Unit 201 is a bunch of pretests going over what was taught in grade one. And so all the pretests, every lesson starts with a pretest. If you pass the pretest in the following lesson, you don't have to do the practice session, just do another pretest. And it goes like that all throughout the book. Just reviewing what was taught in level one or in grade one and seeing if the child needs additional practice in that. And I love this aspect of the math curriculum because it just, it's that spiral mastery approach that like making sure that the foundation is established before moving on to something That's pretty much how that's set up. So I'm gonna go on to 202, which goes into more detail about, um, like which actually starts the teaching for level two. So for level two, so you can always find the table of contents online on their website to see what the child is supposed to be learning in level two. But I wanted to give you guys just a quick flip through of how the lessons are actually set up. Um, so it always starts off with a story. And then it goes on to having some things that you can do, some um, things that you do with the child. We don't do the flashcard work because we do because we do something else different for flashcards. Um, and we don't do the speed drill because we do something else that's different as well. So, but, We'll do like the count by fives, you know, those types of things, which he's pretty fluent in. Um, and then we always go over what's new.
So the beginning is very simple. Going over odd and even, lots of subtraction work, lots of addition work, practicing basic money skills, basic time skills, those types of things. Also goes over number placements, place values. So once you get to the center, you will see the light unit test. And the light unit test, you actually rip it out, you tear it out, and then they do it at the end. And then these are, this is the graph for charting for the speed drills that are in the back. We don't do the speed drills, but based off of the number that they get correct in two minutes, they're supposed to plot to challenge themselves. And it also does a great job at teaching graphing skills. So They do have quizzes as well and it tells you when to do the quiz. <laughs> so these are the different things. If you keep score, you have quiz one, quiz two, anything else that you're grading, um, and the final score for that light year. So if you have to keep track of grades, this does a good job at keeping it simple. So that's 202. As you can see where the child is about halfway through. So if we flip through one of the lessons in 205, same thing, always starts off with the story. Let's go to line and ray. So you're turning, you're learning the difference between what a line is and what a ray is. So it's a very advanced curriculum. So halfway through, that's what they're learning. Practicing longer addition problems. So now, light unit 210. Now they're learning about cubes and all the things. So it's not like colorful, which we're used to with um, Matthew C. So we're used to that, you know, things not being like super colorful but it's not super teacher intensive either, which I love. You just teach that new little part and then they move on to the We Remember. Love. Love that it allows for a lot of independence. So if you look at the test, that gives you a really good idea of so what the child should know by the end of the course. So we're talking about perimeter, diameter, centimeters, 
um, at the subtraction, multiplication. Doubles, double 40, double 21, double 32. So, level three. Now, level three is only comes with one book. So, unlike level two, it only comes with one book. I believe I believe it's because it's not as teacher intensive, and so as the other ones. So, by this point, children are able to teach themselves a lot better, and they're a lot more. Um, it still has the lesson preparation. It still has the drills. It still has. Um, the tips and the hints and all of the answers but it is not as teacher intensive as the other ones and so it doesn't um, you can you, it's fine with one it's not too heavy um, so uh, I, I'm not going to show you 301 so just just like level two level three comes with or light unit I'm um, sorry. Math three comes with um, ten light units. Uh, the first light unit is all review of level two, which you saw what I had in level two, and a lot of the pretest type work. So I'm going to show you level. I'm going to show you 302 where it actually starts the coursework. So there are always symbols. That, that you will see. And so like, when you see math two, that's a refresher from a lesson two, you know? Or from, from I'm sorry, when you see math two, that's a refresher, that's to review something that they learned in grade two. Um, you'll see the re we remember and it will look exactly like this and different things like that. So it goes through the symbols in order for your child to understand when they see them what to expect. Always starts off with a story. So it starts off with this, with the review on steps for solving story problems. All right, if you hear some noise in the background, I'm getting my roof redone, but I hope you can hear me. Um, I am just going to quickly flip through this so that you guys can get an idea of what is included in, at the beginning at 302. So there is a lot of emphasis on money and time in this curriculum, which I love, which is something that I was kind of missing from our other curriculum that we do too. So it is, uh, it complements our other curriculum very well. And just like all the other light units, it has the test directly in the middle so that it's easy to pull out.
Now, just to get a quick glimpse as to what is included halfway through the um, grade three, here is light unit 305. Finally, Light Unit 310, which will give you a glimpse into how it actually all ends and pieces together. Now, by taking a thorough, good look at the test, you can see where what the child is expected to know by the end of grade three. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you would like to also see a flip through of the preschool curriculum that I got from Christian Light, um, click this link right here. Until next time, bye.